students. How are you guys? I am done apologizing for that light there behind me. It's gonna stay that way, okay? That's just life, it is what it is. Let's move on and talk about other things, like the topic of today's video, intelligence, or rather, the lack of intelligence. Now, if you're watching this and you happen to be American or just living in the United States right now, you probably know what Black Friday is, okay? Well, wait, no. I think anyone anywhere in the world knows what Black Friday is. Okay, but specifically you in the United States right now, you you know how Black Friday actually works, okay? No, wait, it can work the same way anywhere in the world. What, what are you saying, Igor? Ah, oh my god. Okay, if you are someone in the United States and you, you, I, you use Black Friday to your advantage, you shop on Black Fridays and you know that there are discounts and wherever else you are in the world, but I've only been to the United States, so I'm going to use it as an example, damn it. Black Friday in the United States is one thing, but Black Friday here in Brazil is a completely different thing. They don't work the same way, and I'm going to explain why. Black Friday in the United States, uh, it's basically this way. You have an item, and it's a certain price, and then it goes on sale on Black Friday, and it becomes cheaper, and that's just how it is. When there's a sale, there actually really literally is a real legit sale. That's what's happening, you know? So. An item stays the same price all year and on Black Friday it falls, you know, and you get a sale, however many percentage off, and you can buy it for much cheaper than it normally would be. That's why so many stores are packed on Black Friday, you know? It's just amazing actually, it's pretty cool how it works. However, here in Brazil, things are a little bit different. Now, uh, here, when, when it comes to my fellow country people, well, let's just say that intelligence isn't exactly the strong suit of Brazilians. Not that I'm saying that other people aren't, you know, dumb around the world. You know what I mean? I think there are idiots in every single place. You know, there are dumb people in every, co in every corner of the world. But here in Brazil, I've been observing a lot more stupidity than any other place I've been to. Now, whoever's Brazilian and is understanding me, you can attack me all you want. You can criticize me in the comments. You can dislike this video. I don't care. We're not a smart group of people, okay? We're not the smartest country in the world. Get with it. So here's how Black Friday works in Brazil. Now a company, for example, let's take a big company like, uh, what's an example of a company that exists in both places? Um, can't really think of one, like a clothing company. Okay, uh, let's use Forever 21. I think that that's a store that exists both here and over there in the United States. Let's take Forever 21, that clothing store. Now, a company like that here in Brazil, they have certain prices for their products, okay? And it's already expensive enough as it is. So then, when it comes time to start preparing for Black Friday, what do they do? They take a product that's a certain price and they start slowly building it up the week during Black, the week before Black Friday. And then, the price used to be here. Then it's double the price. Then on Black Friday, it comes back down to the original price. The same price that it was the entire time. It goes up and then it comes right back down. And they advertise this as a Black Friday sale. But there's no sale. There's no sale. It's the same price that it was, you know, all the way back at the beginning. It's called committing fraud. It's a crime. It's illegal. What's wrong with these people? But, but, that, that's just it. You might be thinking, these companies are so unethical, you know? Why are they doing this? They're openly lying to people, you know, so they can benefit from it. Yeah, <laughs> but there's just a, there's just one tiny little detail. Brazilians fall for it every single time. Of course, not every single Brazilian, but I would probably say the vast majority because these stores are always so packed on Black Friday and so many people talking about, you know, bragging about what they bought on Black Friday and this and that. So I could say that a very good portion of people in this country are aware of it, you know, and I'm, I'm one of those that, you know, um, wait a second, wait, what? I'm sure that a, a good amount of people um, aren't aware of this whole scandal, and I'm one of the few that actually are. Now, the thing is that, let's take a, I'm gonna give you an example. An iPhone here in Brazil, the most expensive one right now costs about 7,000 reais. Yes, 7,000 reais, the, the iPhone XS Max. Now, uh, on Black Friday, this product is going to be advertised as exactly 7,000 reais. And they're going to tell you that it's a discount. It's a Black Friday sale. But here's the thing. The week preceding Black Friday, the price of an iPhone XS Max, that's a tongue twister, 
X X X X the price of an iPhone X S Max goes all the way up. This is just an example. Goes all the way up to ten thousand reais. That is a lot of money. That is a truckload of money. And then it's like, wow, that's so expensive. And all of a sudden, Black Friday comes around and it's seven thousand reais. So everyone goes like, ah. This is literally how Brazilians react, okay? They think that they're getting such a good deal, 3,000 reais less. The thing costs 7,000 reais now, the same price that it cost a week before Black Friday. And then I ask you, why do I get so much hate for calling Brazilian people dumb? Why, why would I get so much criticism for this? Clearly, we're not the most intelligent people in the world. You know, and I mean, it doesn't make any sense at all. Obviously, I've never fallen for this Black Friday thing because very early on when I moved here, I learned about it, you know, very quickly. I picked up on what was happening and people who already knew informed me. And if you if you really pay attention, you know, that's exactly how it happens. And act, matter of fact, there's a there's an app, not an app, but an extension for Google Chrome that you can download called Vigia de Preço which translates to price watch, you know, and it's actually very useful. There, there's probably already a version of it in the United States, but here in Brazil, that's the most popular one because what it does is take the prices. It uh, sort of attaches itself to every single website that you can buy things from online. And it, as soon as you access a product, it's going to give you an alert. It's going to show you a green bar, which means that there, there actually is a discount, a yellow bar if they're not, uh, I guess if they're not too sure if the price is a little oscillating and a red bar if the if it's a, a scandal you know if they're trying to sell you something that's not actually on sale at all and it's actually very useful it's really really cool and uh, this kind of thing sort of opens up people's eyes you know to the corruption in this country you know and it, it, it's so, it's so funny to see people bragging like uh, they go online and post stuff on Facebook like uh, like, hey, look what I just bought, you know, I, I just bought a, 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 a 4,000 reais TV, you know, and it's so awesome. I got it so cheap on Black Friday. My God, these people are so f***ing stupid. You did not get a f***ing discount, you stupid, idiotic, moronic son of a bitch. Come on, man. It's it, it, all I can do is laugh at these people because they paid the same price that they you know would have paid anyway. So it's like wow, that TV is so expensive. It's four thousand reais. Then Black Friday comes around. Hey, it went from eight, it went from six thousand to four thousand. It's it's so cheap now. It's on sale, and the guy's like, yeah, I'm gonna take it. What is wrong with you people? Ah, <laughs> Yeah. Ugh, oh my god, I am sweating. I am sweating. I am really really sweating. It's hot in here. Oh jeez. Black Friday here in Brazil. It doesn't exist. Brazilians commonly refer to it as as a black fraude because it's a fraud, you know, and it's nothing there's nothing authentic about it, you know, and it's just annoying and I'm trying to save up right now to buy a new iPhone and well, I, I saw all the the the, the click baiting, the baiting on Black Friday, like, hey, the new iPhones are so cheap now. But I looked it up beforehand. They're not cheap. They're still expensive as f So, uh, yeah. In case any of you who don't live in Brazil didn't know about this kind of thing happening, now you do. You know, I was, uh, I'm glad to inform this. You know, I'm glad to inform you guys of this. And it's so awesome to see so many dumb people representing an entire nation. You know, oh my God. It's so awesome to see so many dumb Brazilians giving every Brazilian, you know, a bad reputation. But that's just life, you know. Not that I consider myself the smartest person in the world, but come on. Oh, God. So, yes, if any of you ever happen to come visit Brazil during November, you know, the Black Friday season, look out, okay? Just, you know, celebrate Black Friday in your country, in the United States, or in Europe, wherever you are. Don't come here for Black Friday. Please, don't do that. You know, it's just a huge corporate scandal, and companies really should suffer some kind of, uh, I don't know, consequence for this. But the best way to do it is to boycott them, you know? Like, they, they advertise products on sale on Black Friday, and if no one buys them, I'm sure they wouldn't do it anymore. But 
Brazilians don't know how to protest, you know, because whenever, uh, it's funny, the best example or the worst example, depending on how you see it, was back in the 2014 FIFA World Cup that happened in Rio de Janeiro. And it was just, uh, wait, Rio de Janeiro, that was the Olympics. The World Cup itself happened in Brazil, the entire friggin' country. It's because I worked as a tour guide uh, in Rio, so that's why I, anyway. When it happened, before it happened, Brazilians were going crazy saying that they didn't want it to happen because there was corruption involved and the government invested too much in the, the stadiums and all that. They didn't invest too much in the education and the hospitals and they were going to boycott the President Dilma. Yeah, all of this big scandal. And then when the World Cup happened, all of these idiots bought tickets to go to the f***ing games. Do you people not know how to protest, you dumbasses? Everyone loves to talk about how the country is going downhill because of the politics and the corruption and the, But have the people actually ever stopped to think that maybe the people themselves are the problem? Like seriously, can we, can, can we all just, us Brazilians, can we all just get together and be more intelligent? Can we stop doing stupid things? You know, like going to a stadium when we want to boycott an entire tournament to watch a game or buying something on Black Friday that is not on sale? You know? You know, can we not create all of these stupid memes whenever something really bad happens so people can stop hating us, you know? But, you know, the, whatever, man. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching up until now. Okay, that's all I want to say. I got a little carried away there. I think I should record a separate video just talking about the, this kind of thing. But anyway, Black Friday in Brazil. It doesn't exist. Do not come here for Black Friday. Ever. Okay? Seriously. Just don't. Do not come here. Stay away from BR and Black Friday. Okay? It's just a scandal. There are no sales, no discounts, no promotions. This is Igor Chesterfield, signing out for now. Ah, I need some coffee. I'll see you in the next video, guys.